So as many times as Tyler and I have both been back here and, and has hiked the trails here, I mean, I came across this shelter up here. Tyler's making his way up, but I came across this a while ago, but that was back behind me on the other side, and I just, I don't know how many times I've hiked past it and thought to myself, ah, I should go check it out. Well, today we're checking it out. Yeah, here's the shelter. It's definitely old. I wouldn't stay in it. Oops, I want to slip. That's the header beam. You can see how rotted that is. It's going to give out, but for the most part, this is old construction shelter. Walls are solid. Tyler and I were just talking about that, but yeah, man, it's too bad they can't redo it. This would be a nice area. So yeah, this would be a nice spot to just come and camp for the night if that shelter was redone. Picnic table. <laughs> Picnic table is holding up more solid than the than the shelter. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course, there's an old picnic table here, rotted one there. But you got a nice stream down here. Yeah, this, is, this would be beautiful in the fall. There's some shack up there. I'm thinking, Tyler, that might be like an, an outhouse. Outhouse or an old dynamite shack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go up and check that out. So we walked up from that hey, shelter. We stepped in this, we might fall down through. We hiked up here to check out this shack. And it is definitely, it's, it's an old outhouse, real old, falling apart. Just old school construction of an outhouse. Oh yeah. Wait a minute, it has a door on the other side. It's got two doors. Yeah. <laughs> two doors. And as, one open. as you can see, definitely old school one-seater. Don't step in there, that floor is rotted. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to step in there any much <laughs> you closer. You might down on your feet. <laughs> so. Well. There you go. So yeah, found this tree, big hole in it, and then right at the bottom, a lot of porcupine poop. <laughs> yes. So we get out in the woods, and what do I do? I film poop. I'm pretty sure, man, there's a there's a porcupine living in there. We're not going to disturb him. Maggie, oh, man. Maggie's smelling poop. Tyler's, Tyler's dog's getting freaked out by a mushroom. <laughs> Teasing his dog. So we've hiked from the top of Blue Knob, which is the highest peak, second highest peak in Pennsylvania, depending on your view, who you talk to. So we've hiked from the top, now we're down towards the bottom, but not all the way. You know what they say, what goes down must come up. So we're about to catch a different trail and loop around and come back up and finish out our hike but it's been a good day out here just really it's just been a time to get outside and take a break from being in the office take a break from all of our planning of our different events that we've got coming up and it gives Tyler and I just a chance to connect and uh, enjoy being outside 
but also kind of touch base on some of the things we've got coming up. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on in this video, Tyler is one of our HBF Outdoors uh, hiking guides. Um, also with some of our events coming up, we do have some fly fishing, uh, camping uh, guide hikes coming up. Uh, Tyler is a fly fisherman. And so we're going to have some of those coming up. So just when you get a chance, uh, I encourage you to check out hbfoutdoors.com for all of our events that we have coming up, various backpacking, camping, primitive camping, and some fly fishing events coming up as well. So we're going to get back here on the trail in a moment. Uh, we just stop for a minute, take a break, and just sit out here and enjoy being out here. So we'll catch you here in just a moment. Now... So we don't always stick to the trail when we come out. We're uh, literally just bush or whacking our way in. Trying to look for a man-made wall. Old man. Somewhere. Yeah, old man-made wall. We find that wall, it's our landmark. So we made our way up a very steep, <laughs> steep climb. We decided to divert off the trail and just kind of blaze our own. So it was a very steep climb. A lot shorter, a lot steeper. Yeah. Shorter, brought us up to the trail, cut our time, but it was definitely steep, so it was a workout. Now we're here, one of my favorite things, we were just talking about just going through our hemlock and conifer groves that we have in certain parts. just a really nice place to, to hike when you get to these types of uh, groves, these sections, and you can see. So we just got back to our vehicles. I'm not quite sure how many miles we did. <laughs> kind of wasn't really keeping track, but it was a good day just to get out here. It's definitely chillier up here, man. But yeah, until next time, everybody, like I always say, get outside and enjoy life. Right, Maggie? Maggie. She's not even paying attention. See, she, she don't care.